This gameplay video is brought to you by very generous patron Shuffles. Prosper versus Yawn in a 1v1 game here. We're definitely going to keep this one because our hand is stacked with mana. Hopefully our opponent doesn't scoop to us on this one. Many players would. Mana Crypt to start off with. That can take us into the Sol Ring. And then we play a land, get the black mana from the Jeweled Lotus. And we get some red mana from the land for Prosper. Exile Unholy Heat from the top of the library. Might be useful against a Mana Dork. Well, they haven't scooped to us yet. <laughs> and that's why they have a Jeweled Lotus of their own. So, of course, cracking that straight away and getting Yawn, God of Winter, into play. So now it's a more fair game, I think, although we're still way ahead of them on mana. Drawing to Florian. Get the Verdant Catacombs into play and crack that for a duel. And then I think we're just going in for the Dragon here because that does have haste and it can ramp us ahead even further. As well as making better use of the treasures because it will double up the mana. Swing in at our opponent. That makes us a treasure that taps for two. At the end of the turn, Prosper has us exile a Prismatic Vista off the top. A Gaia's Cradle from the Snow Player. Alright, awesome. And we get into a Vamp Tutor so we can refill our hand with that maybe. Play Prismatic Vista from Exile will make us another treasure token. And then we might as well get the Florian into play. We're going to be able to exile whatever we go for with Vamp Tutor if we want to. Because Florian just cares about any damage that's dealt to your opponent. So we'll go for the Vamp Tutor here. Oh, I actually haven't put Necropotence in here, which is what I would have gone for. Uh, could go for a Blood Moon to hurt our opponent's mana. Uh, no, it's a little bit greedy. Instead, let's go for Magda. And we can try and cheat out some big artifacts. Swing in with the uh, Dragon again, making another treasure. That triggers the Florian at the end of the turn, which will be 4 damage, 4 cards revealed. And there is a Khan, the Great Creator, which is going to go well with the Magsynth Lattice. Grenzo Havoc Razor, Liliana of the Veil could get rid of their commander. Magda is the one we still go for here, I think. Khan doesn't really do anything until we get the Lattice into play. And we get the Lattice into play with Magda, so... Crack a Treasure Token, we'll play Magda from Exile, which as the treasure immediately replace itself. And at the end of the turn we exile Dragon Rage Channeler, which we'll easily be able to get out next turn. Oh, and immediately being punished for the greedy play, that is a toxic deluge where X is 4, so completely wiping the creatures. Yeah, that feels bad. Totally empty-handed now, maybe need to put Necropotence in the deck. Okay, we just get into another land with Polluted Delta, so play and crack that. Get our Prosper back into play, still making use of the fast mana. And then we might as well play the Dragon Rage Channeler. Makes us another treasure token. And this time exiling a Hymn to Torak. Our opponent is going to be at 6 cards in hand. Enchanting a land with Glittering Frost. So turns their jewel into a snow, which is relevant with the commander. Obviously not wanting to put too much heat on the guy's cradle by making that a snow. Alright, more discard in Duress. So let's cherry pick something out of their hand first with the Duress because they might have very few non-creatures that we can have them discard. Triggers the Dragon Rage Channeler. Okay, and that's a land on top, so certainly going to throw that in the bin. Fixing our draws a little bit. Uh, okay, that's a crypt full of creatures. Blizzard Spectre. Draugr Necromancer. Rhyme Feather Owl and Morite of the Frost. So I'm hoping we're given some time to catch up here. Should be able to play whatever we draw into. Let's cast the Hymn to Turak. We'll get another Surveil from the Dragon Rage Channeler. Alright, and that time it is a Grenzo, so we definitely keep that on top. That's another means of exiling stuff. Our opponent discards at random the Blizzard Spectre and the Draugr Necromancer. So keeping two blue creatures in hand, swinging at our opponent, deal a bit of damage to them, and exiling the Grenzo with the commander at the end of the turn. Okay, just ripping into that straight off the top because we knew what was in their hands. Spirit of the Alder Guard allows them to tutor up a land which they play straight away, so we still know what's in hand. 
drawing into an abrade, which can't blow up the bear, unfortunately. Let's just get down Grenzo. Making another treasure, which the treasure's only tapped for one mana apiece now, thanks to the dragon going down. Swing in with the Dragon Rage because it does have flying now, which yeah, I'm grateful for because I'm not sure what else we'd be doing here, unfortunately. Grenzo triggers on any combat damage, thankfully, because we can't get Grenzo through. So instead of goading, they're going to be swinging in with that bear regardless. We'll exile off the top of their library. That's the mode we're going to be using most of the time. Just exiling a basic from them, unfortunately, so might actually be helping them there. Unless they're desperate for a land, maybe. And then exiling from the top of our library as well, a reflecting pool with Prosper. Okay, and they play out Morite, which is going to copy their bear, which we can't do anything about, unfortunately. So it comes down with a couple of plus counters on it, even bigger than the original. That is an 8-6. Searching up and playing an island. Got the bird in hand and one mystery card. And still not swinging in at us, thankfully. Because I wouldn't be blocking, so that's free damage for them. Oh, alright, that is an Atali Primal Storm. Uh, yeah, I think we just play the Reflecting Bull from Exile, first of all. And then Windmill Slam and Atali. Oh, but of course, of all the counter spells, they've top decked into a Mana Drain. So they've got six free mana next turn. That should help. Swing in with our Flying Creature again. Getting a hell of a lot of use out of that thing. The Grenzo going to trigger, oh, and once again, exiling a tropical island off the top. So, uh, yeah, got them closer to a mana drain. We might be getting them closer to something else there by exiling yet another land. Inquisition of Kozalek, not necessarily useful to us, but probably just play that next turn just to get the treasure. Seeing the Rhyme Feather Owl, so now can't likely deal damage to our opponent with our flyer. Comes down as a 9-9 flyer. And there we see Glacial Revelation. Reveal the top six cards of your library and put any snow permanents into your hand. The rest go in the bin. So they get into hand a snow forest, lose out on an arbor elf, and a crew fix as well as a couple of ramp spells. Get themselves a snow swamp as well, so just a couple of basics from that. And thanks to the extra mana from Mana Drain, they're able to get down their Yawn again as well, which cost them 5 mana there. So at the beginning of combat, we'll make use of our Abrade, and we will Lightning Bolt the Yawn so that they can't untap everything. The Channeler reveals a Tekanuma. Uh, that can put the Atali back into our hand, I suppose. So we'll keep that on top. Alright, now swinging with the big creatures. So this is going to be a hell of a lot of damage. Let's block with the Grenzo, because we can't get through with that anyway. I suppose we could have tried to turn wide on them, but yeah, down to 14 with one of them not hitting us. And we've got a Mana Crypt to worry about as well. Getting bolted by the Mana Crypt. Actually forgot all about the Magda that's in our graveyard, so uh, might be able to combo off here. Let's go for the Tekanuma. Got Khan we could fish out. As well as Atali, but I think the one we go for here is definitely Magda, because we can shoot her here thanks to the treasures that we've been acquiring. So, play out the Magda. Then use Magda's ability to sacrifice five treasures. will let us grab a dragon or an artifact from our library. So we go for the Magasynth Lattice here, turning everything into an artifact. And then the thing that I didn't think was going to be of any use turns out to be, thanks to that top deck... Been holding on to Vandal Blast all game, and now we are going to beat our opponent with it. Vandal Blast overloaded, destroys all the artifacts you don't own, and all of our opponent's permanents, including the lands, are artifacts. Channeler puts a Lelia on top, which is a means of us getting into more card draw, so that's really good. And our opponent decides to scoop it up there, they're about to lose all of their permanents with only one card in hand, so that's fair enough. See what we were drawing into here. We knew the Lelia. Okay, a land aboard wipe and some more control in Colligan's command. Yeah, that was a pretty close one too, as Yawn's pretty underrated and we were getting smashed by big creatures there. So I might have been able to survive another turn, but without that Vandal Blast, I'm not sure what we were doing after that. 
Huge thanks goes out to the patrons as ever for supporting the channel. Don't forget that you can do that as well via the link in the description below if you would like. Massive thank you if you decide to do that. I'm Tribal Kai. Thank you for watching.